All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more GTA 3. My name is... I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him out permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat! Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk! I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them! Gone fishing. Countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aeris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Britain. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox. Why, thank you, Bad Boo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Bad Boo. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant, and pe- Oh. Wow. That's his idea of fishing. Oh, you're finished. You are finished. His idea of fishing is throwing grenades in the wall. That's ethically and morally wrong, I guess. It works, but that's that's not good for the environment. Organic 
encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Right, well, this is your final one. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It's really saved my life. Why, thank you. I want to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. This is chapter 13. So wonderful. I rejected chocolate now. Perhaps better add to my life. I scooted around the house with my legs from behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like a chicken exorcist. I even saw the dairy on the top shelf of the fridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs from behind my head now. I grow weak and start knocking things down with the room. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. You certainly are. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla lad, though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Laszlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by the all you can eat breakfast buffets with huge pans of juicy bacon. Can we get some bacon in here? Lazo, I go back to bacon. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up a shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand-pressed potatoes. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, Kung Fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you instill fear in your opponent. You never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about no toke. You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness. And he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford! If he squeals, I squeal! <laughs> That's all I got. about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. hey -ya! Oh! Oh, oh Lazo! Lazo! I think I hurt my hand in my... Pinky's all bent the wrong way. Oh, I'm... Shh. Okay, Lazo, not me. Oh, my God. Get out of my way! They were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking English. Oh, you can't move. Man, Cherokee, Bear. Mummified. And, and another thing. What's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's American sport. It teaches you good, wholesome oh American values. That is so man, annoying. Like, like stealing other people's land by force, and I just ran him over. The damage thing didn't move. I bet you play wimpy stuff like like touch football and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball, and I'm seven foot three. Let me see if I can cheat real quick. Let me see if I can cheat that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugged, hot move, so. Man, get me in a scrub and I'm dangerous. I'll take anybody down. I'm the hot scotch master. I got fly skills in hot scotch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of see your point, but, you know, you'd be a little cranky, too, if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce here. Let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? Has the spark gone out of your love life? Looking to add a little adventure to the monotony of my... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
three-step program, you're rediscovering romance, guaranteed. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the turnpike. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. You don't think I'm a real man? Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and woman. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pop. For everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow. He stopped the hanging around. Blah, blah, blah. You just did I see the whole, the, monkey. the best new video the whole game for the darn whole family. <laughs> nope, not in that one. Anything else to say or Pigeon. just like a fortune cookie with wings? Squirrels, squirrels is not so good, they taste like goldfish, meat's real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the dormant. my marriage. She was too big for me. And I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thiazides, and Tommy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried. Hands yeah, chopped off. Exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology oh, called biorhythmic oh, subconscious oh, gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in a special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LAR or visit www.sleepofflar.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that can seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new My Batsu Monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my... Waka Gashira Wipeout. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Waka Gashira, Kenji Kasson. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. They think life is a game. Well, it's not a game. 
game, Laszlo. It is very, very serious. I let my kid play video games, and now runs around the house looking for gold coins. Teaching our children to go chase money. My little fans are playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana can in shop class and was mobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. People say it's bad for you. It's not bad for you at all. Why aren't you talking? Wait, you think I'm straight? Am I on the air? Hello? Answer me, you pansy. What's your question? Bank! 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 <laughs> what about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Question... How's that? Fluoride is evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush it twice a day? I've read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tetris, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. If you've seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your teeth again. Uh, I suppose you're Where one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. If I'd like to say if anyone else is stressed, then I recommend Equinox from Saibatsu Pharmaceuticals. We'll be back after these important messages. Hello. I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life. Oh my god! I, that was so stupid. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Jump the car! More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Huh, thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone you can find it at house of tomorrow remember only technology makes life worth living house of tomorrow we'll upgrade your system then you can So, tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle. Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the baby. And she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom. Imaginative, exotic, constantly. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I give a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman or even a donkey. 
Because, because you do not know. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. If possible, but a man is born. A man. A man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed, but for his bed, he needs something else, something magical, a dream, and swing. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Lasto. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. A 21 mentioning the pretty assistant and the office manager and the Icarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It has a present for me, but you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrummy brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about what you thinking about, you pretty assistant. We already know that, see? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and come here and come there smiling? No! Darn it! It glitched! See, almost did it again. See, I jumped towards the middle this time. Exotic location do you come from? I am. Um, but that I was am nice though. <laughs> Latin is they a have it to where you there, collect buddy. six packs uh, and dockers over here next to the pants place. To these insults. I have That's pride. actually pretty I have a well planned out. Many are called, but few are chosen, route. my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? You happy money now? 
I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, then he's to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I saved your daddy. I saved your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to see if you grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.